there folks, Renium T here and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. In the last part, we found we need to go to the Isle of Beko and got a little distracted doing side quests and went a little long and, well, let's wrap up those sad side quests. Fam family Affairs. What a terrible mess. If, as I suspect, Susume has gone to exact revenge on Hensaku, she is likely making her way to him as we speak. The Confederacy is made up of a diverse group of people, and all of us take a vow upon joining it to leave our past behind us. If she were to harm a, harm a fellow member, regardless of the circumstances, she will be branded an enemy. She knows this, yet it seems fury has taken hold of her heart and clouded her judgment. We must act quickly and put an end to this nonsense. Were it not that they needed the captain to transport our goods, I would go and stop her myself. As a stands, however, I must ask that you intervene on my behalf. Please hurry to them and see that no harm come either, comes to either Suzume or Hensaku. It's just time to go in the first place. Oh, hello, there you are. Arya, stay right where you are. If you intend to stop me, I'll put an arrow through you as easily as I will this vile man. To hurt another member to commit treason against the Confederacy. Treason or not, I must avenge my parents' deaths. Because of them, never again will I hear my father's gruff voice or feel a gentle touch on my mother's hand. Unless I kill off those responsible, they will never find peace. Nor will I. You fool! The men and women here, we are your family now. To lay a hand on your brothers and sisters is to relinquish your life. Are you ready to pay that price? Would not be here if I was not. Very well, then I will not stop you. However, you are to sell your accounts with Tansaku only after our transaction with Mr. Kikimo is complete. The Confederacy's entire future depends on the success of this trade. We'll not have you ruining it for us. Very well, sir. For the kindness you and the other pirates have shown me, I shall comply with your request. Good. Then the two of you are to go and secure the, this perimeter. Now. Yes, sir. Remember, Susan, I will not have you going back on your word. You are not to touch Hensaku until everything is done. I know. here just in time to prevent what could well have been a catastrophe. Thank you, Arya. Now I must return to the boats and check up upon the cargo. Might you re remain here and help clear the area? And while you're at it, please keep an eye on Susan May to make sure she does not step out of line. Dangerous creatures in the area. Let's go check up on Suzume. Hmm, there seems to be a situation up here. As soon as I was attacked, Tensaku came running to my rescue. We are about to enter the move, but the monsters are no doubt still lurking about nearby. Yeah, they're right there? Like, they're right there. Thank you, Arya, for saving us. I was so blinded by rage that I did not notice what in the beast crept up behind me. If Hensaku did, had not come when he did, I, I would be dead. I suppose in saving me, you sought to earn pardon for your crimes? 
It was not to gain your forgiveness that I threw myself at them. I was acting purely on instinct. Hmm. I can believe that. You were no you never were one to think before you act. <laughs> Stop smiling. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> you are a fool to the very end. Who comes out of their way to save one person trying to kill them? <sighs> Perhaps the bigger fool of the two of us is me. Where were you where you constantly look to the future, I desperately cling to the past. My parents, they would not have wanted this. At long last, the veil of anger is lifted and you see reason. Suzume, is there anything else you want to say to Hanswako? Hanswako, I... I'm sorry. I was a prisoner to my own painful past, but through your actions you set me free. <sighs> I have done you harm. Should you wish me to leave the Confederacy, I shall do so. Leave? I would never ask that of you. Suzume, this is your home and we, your family. You belong here with us. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, I know I disappointed you, but please give me a second chance. Let me stay you here with you in the Confederacy. It was never part of my plan to expel you. All families had their problems, so we are no different. What is most important is that we learn from our mistakes and do not repeat them. Yes, sir. Um, pardon me, Chief, but isn't Mistress Kikimo set to arrive soon? Won't our deal fall through if we don't go to meet her? Some things are more important than money. Business deals can be replaced, but I'm afraid the two of you cannot. I hope that does not mean you intend to rent Renegade on our deal? All the goods I had come to collect were the location we'd agreed to meet at, but you were not. Your parents granny had said they were given strict orders not to hand anything over until you gave the word. Now I find you here all covered in blood and slime. What's going on? My sincerest apologies, Mr. Skikimo. We were forced to divert our attention temporarily to deal with a security breach of sorts. It has been resolved. By the looks of it, you have gone to great lengths to ensure my safety upon arriving on the island. Time and time again, you impress me with your resolve to provide the best of services to your customers. I must say, the future between your organization and ours is bright. That said, please let us return and begin loading the goods. I would prefer to make it back to Kugane before sunrise. Y yes, madam. We will get on straight away. Come, Hensaku. Arya, your help has been indispensable. Not only have you saved my two subordinates, but the Confederacy as well. I must go and oversee the remainder of this transaction, but I ask that you come find me later at, at Onokora. At least I can just work back there. Thankfully. Hello! Thank you for coming all this way. You will please to hear that everything went smoothly after you left. Suzume and Hansaku were quick to load the ship. It was almost as though nothing ever happened between them. You, of course, are who we have to thank for that. We are greatly indebted to you for all you have done for us. While you may not be an official member of the Confederacy, we have come to think of you as family. I hope you will come back to visit us whenever you can. Remember, should you ever wish to officially join our ranks, we, we would be more than happy to welcome you. All right! Yay! We did it! We're done. Now we just need to head over that way. Towards the Isle of Echo. Oh. Yay! We made it to the- to land! Land ahoy! Let's, uh, actually... Do this real quick. Let's do the hunt stuff here. We're just not dumping the experience on the monk. No. Okay, maybe 201 is a little painful when it's still a level above me. And of course I need three. Shoot. Okay, there's one over there.
to get some experience for that. Once it lets me change back jobs again. I think this is the Isle of Echo, though to be honest it looks the same to me. It has however many other islands around here. Marshall said there was a cave that will lead us to their village. We should search for their inland. back down here, like right there. Let's save the drop, sort of. Whee! Ow! Hey, Elise! How goes? How goes? Don't mind me, I'm just a little hurt. Oh, the fates above me. Okay. Let's just continue on down this path. Oh yeah, so there's a shortcut up, but not down. Go figure. Is that light I see up ahead? to be standing inside a giant bubble by the 12 I think we're on the seabed well well I thought I heard familiar voices Ban, what are you doing here? Hmm, what a curious question. I live here. Then this is the home of the Blue Kojin. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. familiar face in this place. We should tell Sora ben about our situation. If anyone, if anyone can help us, it's him. Of Koji and Kami. So tell me, my friend, 
friends. What strange tides bring, bear you to our home? That is indeed a most dire predicament, but perhaps an opportunity for us to craft yet another profitable arrangement. Very well, I shall introduce you to our leader, Funchen. It will be up to you, however, to present your case. However, more importantly, Yukari looks a little bit different here. I guess what do you expect when it's under the sea? Welcome, guests. Gratitude to you for aiding Soroban in his negotiations. We thank you for your hospitality, honored Elder. Pray forgive me my brevity, but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. So, you seek to compel our Red Brothers to forego hostilities for a time. That's right. We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something? From far above, you have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion, and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. We Korjin covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. Yet, how are we to seek these treasures above if we made enemies of the Galian Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are? Wiser to join with them, so resolved the Red Korjin. Cautiously and carefully, for the Galians are blind to the Divine, nor will they suffer their subjects to see. So the Red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. To honor the Divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path. Aye, aye. Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. While our red brothers live by the sword, we blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans and judgment for the doings of the Red falls unjustly upon the Blue. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. This cannot continue. On that point, we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause, then? There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. 
But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the divine. Assurances must first be had. Trust forged. A bargain struck. Well said, Elder. In great crises is great profit to be had. Delight not overmuch in such things, Sorobon. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right? Well, my friends, we require your assistance with the search for a priceless treasure, the Yasakane no Magatama. This jewel, most sacred of Kojin relics, was in possession of Hingashi until he decided to present it to the Garleans in a gesture of conciliation. The Red would not abide this, and so they plotted to seize the vessel bearing it to their Imperial masters. Alas, though they succeeded, and in ensuing chaos, the Magatama was lost to the sea. We wish to recover the sacred jewel before our brothers. However, were we to come into conflict with them, it would be problematic. Therefore, we turn to you. So you want us to search the ocean floor for this treasure of yours? I'm not sure how we're supposed to do that without... You know. Drowning? Fear not. There's ritual I can perform to imbue your bodies with a powerful blessing. But first, you must prepare offerings for the sea. Require twisted ruby coral and several fist-sized sea snail shells and a freshly harvested unkyo car carapace. It's quite a shopping list. I will see to the shells. Lise can look for the coral. Arya, would you go and find an MPU and relieve it of its carapace? Of course. Well, let's head back out and find an MPU and slay it for its carapace. Should be one not too far out of the, out of the cave outside the cave entrance. Yeah, I can see there's much above me. But there's one problem. They're above me. Ah, the shortcut. Back up we go. It would see around my little shortcut, wouldn't they? In some way. Well, have you the Unkyo Carapace? How splendid they are! The Kami shall be most pleased, I am sure. Got it, the ruby coral you wanted. And I see snail shells. They're about the size of my fist, though I realize now you may have met yours. You shall be more than this we shall more than suffice for our purpose. Next we shall make ready to present them to the sea and perform the ritual. Once it's been completed, you'll be able to move freely through the depths and find the Yasakane no Magatama. Out of curiosity, how large is this sacred jewel of yours? Unless it's far too large to be carried by the three of us, how are we supposed to even find it? Ruby Sea is not exactly small. Ha ha ha! Surely you realize we have been searching this whole time. The area which you explore is but a small fraction of the Ruby Sea. Already have we scoured most of the seabed near and within our territory, to no avail. 
are the remains of the region to the west. The Shilas of the Suidos Sato can provide you with better guidance than we. You would do well to visit them first. Shilas? You mean the Kojins aren't the only ones living under the sea? Of course not! The rain have been here as long as I can remember. Shiosai, the overseer, I believe, can tell you more when you arrive. We are getting ahead of ourselves. We have yet to carry out the ritual. Question mark, question mark, question mark. In a Soroban, we trust. Aha! Gunbreaker Dancer. This is where they uh, seem to have snuck in some Gunbreaker and Dancer stuff. Are you ready, my friends, to explore a world unlike any you have ever known? Then let us go to the western part of the village where the water twists and turns and they are complete our preparations for the ritual. Side quest. Side quest! <laughs> oh boy. There's also one up there. Not just any banquet. Madam, am I perk to assume you are from the surface? Well, I am low to have to ask a favor, especially a visitor such as yourself. I'm afraid I have nowhere left to turn. You see, a couple times a year, we hold a village wide banquet where each person brings their signature dish. As I've been charged with organizing an event, attending to the main preparations has left me with little time to collect the necessary ingredients for my food. Nearly everyone has finished making theirs, but I have yet to even begin. Readying the broth takes the longest, so I must start that now. To complete it, however, I need the legs of two giant coral shells. Please, might you detain them for me? They can be found on the coast of Onokaro. Here, take this bait. Giant coral shells are a reticent creature, but the smell of that should be enough to attract them out of hiding. Arbo's venerated ancestor. You must be terribly bored if you have nothing better to do than stand there and watch us. How about I give you some work? My sister loved to clean the cotton kerchiefs. We use the polish of shells, but she is slow to return. Might you go and check the shores around the eastern cove to make sure nothing has happened to her? Treasure Cove. I'm an adventurer. You are just in time. Tell me, have you ever heard of Treasure Cove? According to ancient legend, the Hingan pirate hid the entirety of his fortune away in the Firth and the Ruby Sea, the value of which eclipses even the wealth of kings. Well, said no one has ever been able to locate its whereabouts, we think we may have found it. To the south of here is a small cove. Whenever we draw close to it, the winds begin to pick up and carry the angry cries of a man shouting, Be gone! Be gone from here! No doubt it's the spirit of the pirate, who continues to cover his treasures from beyond the grave. That incredulous look. You mean to say you not believe my story? Well, you are more than welcome to go there and verify the veracity of my statement for yourself. If the voice does not scare you away, you might even be able to find the treasure, legendary treasure. Chat would say, use your keyboard software, is her phrase that contains the words, is there any, is anyone around here to draw its spirit's attention? The Mysterious Assailant. Ah, you are a lady from above, but one who appears to be battle-hardened, a warrior no less. They should choose this very moment to visit us is no coincidence. The other day, one of our youngest Koshin was out fishing when he was attacked and seriously injured. He was unable to identify his assailant, but many suspect it may have been the doing of the coral shell. Most the time, they begin laying eggs and can be very aggressive. I, however, believe it to be something far more sinister than that. The individual I speak of is Tamamizu's most gifted fighter. A mere coral shell would not have been able to catch him unawares. The incident took place on the northern shores of the Isle of Becco. Please, might you go there and investigate what co what could have been behind this? Who is me? Unmeasured strength. Would you take a look at those brawny arms? You appear to be as strong as me, if not stronger. I would bet all my treasure that you too could kill a flying shark with your bare hands. I mean, I already have. Well, I guess I had knuckles on, but... 
The other day I purchased this doll this doll of vitality from a merchant on the surface. He promised me that wearing it would grant me immense physical might. I've gone out and tested it against all manner of wild beasts, but it did not seem to have any effect. Will you give it a try? I suspect there is a trick to making it work that I could not have not yet figured out myself. Mayhap you can test it out against some unku to the east of here. These beasts are said to have shells as hard as diamonds and are nigh indestructible. That's why I already gathered a shell from one. <sighs> Go over to the water a moment ago and sit the way here until I returned. May as well grab this before I head out to the side quest. It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words, and let all else wash away. Listen to my words, and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Somehow, the boy just isn't very buoyant. Hmm, <laughs> skilled or no, your bodies are ill suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. But first, let us take to the water. Incredible. I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. to the deepest depths of the sea. And so they may. After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kosetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends, and may the Kami speed you on your way. treasure in no time come on
Diving unlocked. Oh, and the Sorbonne's blessing. You may now dive into deep water and stay submerged indefinitely. Underwater settlements like Tamamizu and Suino Sato can be accessed via circular portals. To leave deep water, you only swim towards the surface. Conversely, to dive into deep water while swimming on the surface, press Control plus Spacebar. Should you become separated from your steed, speak with Sorbonne and Tamamizu. The mount is striped right. Yay! We have diving! So, well, they say that. Like, oh, you could become separated. You can actually use any mount down here! Okay. More importantly, let's get back in Tamamizu. So, we can just jump out through the portal. We don't actually have to talk with the Sorbonne to... Actually, no, we do. Because we do need the mount to progress the story. But... Actually, no, we don't. We do not need it. We just need to do that. So, yeah. Thanks for the diving. We don't need your mount. But the start ray is pretty cool looking. Okay, let's get back out of here and get back up top. So, yeah, diving was one of the big... Ooh, look at this, and there was a thing down there. Shoot. One of the big- Ooh, look at this new feature that we're introducing in... Um... Trombola. And, fun fact! My computer used to absolutely die while diving. It was so bad! Oh, I don't know. Anyone who's watched my World of Final Fantasy Let's Play, there was a point where I sent- I basically literally hit a point where it was like, Okay, I just need to buy a new capture. I need to buy a new video card because this one is just it cannot handle this. And it was like it was too graphically intense, and it was the same reason diving is just too much for my computer to handle. Was too much for my computer to handle. Anyways, sword in the zone. <sighs> so far away, but I cannot give up just yet. Oh, visitor, my your footsteps were so light. I did not hear you approach. Could you really use the assistance of one as nimble as yourself? Do you see that sword protruding from that large boulder up there? I must find a way to procure it, that I might accomplish my dreams. Like all the others, I want so desperately to explore the surface in search of treasures. I, to do so, however, must first prove to the village elders I am worthy of embarking upon such excursions by retrieving that sword. My comrades have, already, have given me advice on how I might reach it, but every time I get close, I'll lose my footing and end up tumbling into the waters below. Can you perhaps do me a favor by demonstrating how I might get there? Come, let's move up ahead. Uh, move up above. I shall observe your light, light movements from there. Yeah, I ain't going the same way as you, though. I'm taking the shortcut. So... Yes, we do have to do a little bit of platforming. Despite a large plateau jutting out of the cave walls over there, can you think of jumping over to it? I must demonstrate to the cohesion that this feat can be accomplished without the use of any outside help. Should you call upon them out or fall into the water, we must start over from the beginning. So yeah, um... I have to do this the hard way. I too can make it to the plateau, but it's from there that things become tricky. Every step must be taken with calculated precision, or you risk, like me, plummeting into the waters below. So I sense some uh, movement speed is happening here. Ah, so that's how you must do it. I shall give it a try. So yeah, that's how you make it up here. Like so. You have to actually do it the hard way. That's on the easy side of Stormblood platforming. Ugh. I am beyond impressed. You are possessed with, of an incredible grace. It's clear to me now. One must tense all the muscles in their legs and push off from the rocks to gain enough momentum to make it to the next. Here, restore my confidence. Thanks to you, I am one step closer to fulfilling my dream of exploring what the world above has to offer. 
You don't want to. It's not worth it. Alright, so we need some Unkyos. We need four of them specifically. So many Unkyos. Absolutely, where one of the um, hunt spot points is. Which is thankfully not here right now. I'm being kind of combo lazy right now, but. One more MQ. And uh, we shall continue on our quest to get around painfully and slowly. Alright, so I guess next up is gonna be that treasure cove spot. 251 Southwest, that's pretty close-ish, maybe. I probably have to drop down though, don't I? I guess there's that path to get back in, but... Um... Oh, hello, buddy! Okay, we'll wait. I found an A rank. We found the other one! So we, we found only you and I. However... May I introduce you in a moment to Alright, what's this thing? Oh five Southwest, yeah. Funny Ray! Funny Ray is a ghost and yeah, that's the other A rank of this area! Um I guess I do have to go down there anyway, don't I? My destination's literally in the water. Alright, so anyone around here? Anyone around here? Be gone! You were scaring the all the fish away. The ones who carry it to your ears are complaints of an angry cojin. Ugh, why does everyone insist on bothering me so when I finally think I am rid of them? They round up their friends and return to harass me some more. Be gone, be gone with all of you. Oh, I'll never get any fishing done at this rate. Alright, so now let's just go back that way. Alright, there is a blank who here is making friends with Gwyneth Ray. Um there's a car down here, and then I'll have to go trip right up to the north side. Somewhere is a. Oh, 91 northeast. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, we're fine. We aren't going near Kuna. There's one pretty garbage spot where a neighbor could be, and I don't like the spot back. I don't know where Oni, Oni is. So. Yeah. So apparently at some point I accidentally hit my stop recording button, and then I turned in the magic quest and didn't realize it. So. Yeah, I uh, did the kerchiefs. And all that. The kerchiefs were in said area, along with the other quest that was there. And I got some credit guild rewards. Why did I hit stop recording? What the heck? It makes no sense why I would have done that. Anyways, I have forgotten to do this quest anyway, so at least 
I just happened to glance down and notice it had was recording. I'm like, wait, what? I was worried I could finish less or missed more, but at least it's only like five minutes worth. I'm like, okay. What the heck? I'm a little bit annoyed at myself, but I also get annoyed at myself very easily, so, uh... So, how did I hit stop recording? Like, what? Just doesn't make sense to me. Really? It does not make any sense. No, oh, you're back there. I don't think you go into this cave very much, so I completely forgot about it. I know it was in here. I'll try not to have too much annoyance in my voice here, but, uh... Yeah. I also miss me complaining about the fact that Onokaro and Tamamizu are really weird in the list. And I always mix them up. <sighs> ah, if I'm not mistaken, that was a piquant scent of a coral shell that clings gently to your clothes. Oh, and the fact that I was like, hmm, so you can drive into the water and be mounted at full speed, regular flying speed, but as soon as you surface right now, oh, you have to dismount. Can't be flying, can't be on your mount. Makes sense, right? Look at the size of those legs. Add to that, the meat inside appears very tender and succulent. Once they're to the stew and boil, it will be ready to serve. Truth be told, these banquets are not all about having fun. In fact, some might say it's a silent competition to see who can serve the best food. The individual to bring the most delicious dish is usually worth the honor of hosting the next one. Next to you and these delicious legs you have brought back for me, my victory is all but guaranteed. Oh, all right, so that does clear up the side quest here. At least I hadn't like progressed into the story. Ugh. That's some kind of small mercy, I guess. I guess this is back up in case somehow you don't have a mount, but you have to pretty much have a mount to get this far, so... IDK. I really don't know. Yeah, but see, like, I'm full speed, on my mount, underwater, no problem. And yet, I can't do this above water really doesn't make sense. As soon as I go into this portal, I'm stuck to the ground again. Yeah, it's a little weird. This must be Sui no Sato, the rain village Soroban told us about. Right then, let's see if they can't help us find the Kojin's missing jewel. Um... I don't really need either right now, but... We now perform underwater emotes! Forever and ever apart. If this is Suino Sato, then Shiosai, the overseer, should be around here somewhere. I dare say one of the locals would be able to point us in his direction. Though, now that I look around, I get the distinct impression we are not welcome here. Hey, she was sorry. So, this is our man. Leave this place and never return. We have no need for wide eyed wanderers. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. My name is Lisa, and these are my friends, Arya and Alize. We are looking for the Overseer of Sweet Nosot. Oh, she is sweet. That's you, isn't it? The Kojin of the Blue sent you hither, did they? I am no Overseer, nor ever would I claim to be one. I am the High Priest of the Shui Sui of the Violet Tides, Shiosai. So you are the man we're looking for. Great! We need your help. We're looking for this jewel called Yas Yasakane no... Stop. I will hear no more. We'll suffer no outside troubles in our sanctuary, especially those of would-be treasure hunters. Drip, drip. Quiet, Isobe, or there will be no dongo for dinner. Ahem, I 
can do not to aid you. I say to you again, leave this place and never return. Very least, sir, you might condescend to tell us of your village and of why you are so loath to show us even the most basic courtesy. Queen Alsatsu is our sanctuary. Under the benevolent leadership of the Ruby Princess, sovereign of Shisui, we reign and enjoy humble yet fulfilling lives, but it was not always so. Long ago, our forebears were driven from their ancestral lands. Beneath the waters, they sought refuge from the ravages of war, and here they flourish. All that we are, our culture, our traditions, our, was born of the sea, as was I. Though we have engaged others in diplomacy, it has ever been with the utmost caution. Isolation and independence are essential to preserving our way of life. So it was when Doma fell 25 years past, the Ruby Princess, in her wisdom, decreed that we would take no part. As it was, so ever shall it be. Forever and ever apart. Forgive me, I understand how highly you value your way of life and how you will suffer none to endanger it. You may be assured that we have no desire to do so. I would hope that we have given you no cause to assume otherwise. You have not. This changes nothing. Regardless of your intention, is, in your intentions is not my place to break with tradition. I must consider the wishes of all who call Sweet no Sato home. For me to defy their will and permit outsiders to remain would be a gross betrayal of my responsibilities. Please do not ask this of me. Thank you for your time, sir. So it continues, another village, another deaf ear. Clearly, Giribanya is not the only place with walls. I'm starting to wonder if this was all a huge mistake. The Satsu couldn't have known we would take him this long. Well, I hope he's still alive. Um... Yeah, sure. Meanwhile, in the tavern of Isari. <sighs> I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. Scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashihai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss, bottomless, insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oaf go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor. 
Poor Lord Kayan. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell me. How did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? Not that you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. In the what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail, you had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death, that he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins. But I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like me. So... Let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody stupid... <laughs> oh! When I get back to Eorzea, I'm gonna find that little shite, and I'm gonna make her pay. Oh, goodness me, that's a lot of side quests. However, I think on that note, I am actually gonna call it good there. No, I lost five minutes of video. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how it stopped recording. <sighs> anyway, right. thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if missing part include, not <laughs> consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing if you really enjoy it. This is my channel. All support fairly helps you keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching and until next time. This is Rinny MT signing out. Bye!